Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Tom Gomi and today we are back for another build tutorial. Something I've not done in a long time. Today we are doing a restaurant build tutorial. So this is something I've teased for quite a while. I believe I actually made this design last summer, believe it or not. And I just haven't got around to making it, that being various reasons. But today is the day. Today we are making the Subway restaurant build. Now the fun thing about this is, as I said, it's been a while since I designed it. So uh, the other day I actually spent a few, a few minutes just updating the design a bit, changing it around, somewhat simplifying it as well. Just getting rid of stupid things that added on to the build that just didn't really actually make the build any better. So this is going to be a simpler version, but also a modern version. So in regards to the actual build itself, you're going to need the following materials. You will need bricks. Smooth sandstone, birch planks, grey wool, green wool, green terracotta, lime terracotta, block of quartz, yellow concrete, sea lantern, black stained glass, black stained glass panes, cobblestone walls, quartz stairs, stone slabs, brick slabs, jungle leaves, and also polished andesite. So if you want to grab them blocks into your inventory, that'll be great. And then we'll get straight into building. So in terms of this actual tutorial, of course, the thing I'll be building is the actual building itself. In regards to the interior slash exterior, I am going to release a video separate for that in about a week or two. Again, I believe I said that for like the McDonald's video that came out like two years ago, but I will get around to it. I'm going to be posting them on the main channel, whereas in the past I posted them on the second channel, which I've now refurbished into a different brand. So again, just to avoid any confusion, this is how we're going to do it from now on. So without wasting any more time, let's get straight into building. So we're going to start off by finding a nice empty area. Of course, if you want to build a front kind of like parking area or just a pedestrian walkway, you're going to want to leave a fair few blocks. I'd recommend probably 10 to 15 blocks gap between the road that you've already built if that's what you're doing. If you're building it in creative, the building starts here. So what we're going to start off by doing is placing five bricks in a row. And on top of this, we're going to build 11 layers of smooth sandstone. So we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven, and we're going to make sure that it goes all the way up on all the different layers. So that's an eleven tall by five wide area of smooth sandstone, so it's now twelve tall with the layer of bricks below it, and we're going to cap it off on top with another layer of five bricks. On top of this we're going to place seven layers of smooth sandstone, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And once again, just like we did before, we're going to build all the other parts up to the exact same height. And that's going to give us our 7 by 5 area. So this is essentially the left pillar that you see at the front left corner of the build. We're then going to have a 31 wide area in between. And then we'll have a right pillar, which is the exact same. So once again, in total, that is 20 blocks tall. Five blocks wide, and if you want to pause, please feel free to do so. That also does apply throughout this video. If there is a point at any stage where you feel you need to pause, just do it because, again, it's better to pause now than get to the end of the video and realize everything's gone wrong two minutes in. So, continuing now, we're actually going to build the front of the shop. So, starting on the right side of this brick, we're going to go in diagonal and we're going to place one, two, three, four birch planks. We're then going to leave a six block gap, and the way I'm going to mark out the six block gap is going to be using polished andesite, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Of course, you don't have to mark anything out, I'm just marking it out so it's really visible. So again, that's a six block gap, and that's where the door's going to be. And then to the right of this, we're going to place 21 birch planks, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and finally 21. Now in terms of this main area, which is built out of birch planks, it's going to be 9 blocks tall in total. So on the left side, build up 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then build all the way across. So 30 blocks across, and that will give us our 31 wide area in total, and it will link up to the exact same length as the bottom layer. And then all we need to do then is just build down and match it up and that will give us a 31 wide by 9 tall rectangle as you can see right here. So that is the bottom part of the shop and then of course we're going to have the logo segment on top. First off what we're going to do is start actually marking out the doorway. 
So as you can see here, we've got this six block gap. From this, we are going to count up one, two, three, four. Same on this side, one, two, three, four. So this is, of course, using birch planks. Using our gray wall, we're gonna go in diagonal on either side. So we place one gray wall on either side. What we're then gonna do is build up one, two, three, four. So it's the exact same as the birch planks. Once again, we repeat this on the right side, and then we're gonna link in the middle across again by placing four blocks. And what this gives us is a five tall by six wide area. This is gonna be the main door, the main door frame. What we can then do is go in a further diagonal block. For this, you're gonna to need to grab yourselves your black stained glass, and we're gonna do another inner ring. This time, again, diagonal from the gray, it's gonna be one, two, three, four tall. One, two, three, four tall link in the middle by placing two blocks and then what we can also do is grab ourselves our black stained glass panes come to the rear of the glass blocks and place a free tool area on each one behind the glass and it's essentially giving the concept that these are doors that kind of fold in and close the shop what we're also going to do is again place polished andesite underneath the glass so it gives it the texture underneath so it's not like dirt and that is pretty much the main part of the doorway complete We'll just do the outer part and then start filling in the rest of the storefront. So again, that's what the door looks like. If you want to pause, please feel free to do so. And for the outer part, again, you can kind of guess what we're doing here. We're going to cap it off. So where we've got these birch planks either side, we're going to build up one block more on either side, link across in the middle. And as you can see, it gives us this effect here where it's essentially three rings. So we've got a ring of birch, a ring of gray wool and a ring of black stained glass. So that is the first step, that is the door. In terms of the next step, it's gonna be the massive window going across the front of the shop. So starting in this corner here to the right of the door, in the bottom left corner, we've got this one birch plank. We're gonna to go to the right one and we're gonna build up one, two, three, four, five using birch planks. So this section here is now two blocks thick. Next to this, we're gonna grab ourselves our gray wall and we're gonna place a row of 21, oh sorry, 17, 21 is the whole uh, area in total 17 gray wall so that's 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 and you'll notice it finishes one block short in this gap we're going to place a row of birch planks and again it's kind of to match it so on this side you have a two block gap on that side once again a two block gap now in terms of the window itself it's going to be four blocks tall so we're going to build up one two three and then build all the way across to the right side once again it's 17 wide in total when you hit the right side build down two and that's going to give you a 17 wide by four thick rectangle in this rectangle go ahead and grab yourself your black stained glass panes and we're essentially going to place two rows in between on the bottom row and on the upper row in between and that will give you a 17 by 2 window or glass i guess area because the window does include the frame so that is the front of the door that is also the front of the window the remaining area is going to be filled in with birch planks so as i said once you've done all that, you literally just fill the remaining area in with birch planks. It's a bit tedious. You're going to need quite a lot of wood if you are daring to build this in survival. Uh, but again, it's not too difficult. We are going to add some additional detail over this later on. But for now, we're just going to build the actual basic shape. So as you can see here, it's just a case of filling it all in. As I've done there, that is it. And if I back up, you can now see the front of the bottom half of the shop. Once again, that's 31 blocks wide and nine blocks tall. Now, in terms of the right pillar, as I mentioned before, it is indeed the exact same as the left. So coming to the far right corner from this birch plank, we're gonna go diagonal forwards. We're gonna place one brick, one, two, three, four to the right. So it's five wide in total. On top of this, we're gonna do 11 layers of smooth sandstone. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 and we're gonna build up all the way across until it gives us an 11 tall by five wide area of smooth sandstone. Just like we did on the left side, we're then gonna cap that off with a layer of bricks. And on top of that, seven layers of smooth sandstone. So that is five, six, seven. If you do it correctly, it'll be the exact same height as the left side, because of course it is the exact same as the left side. And if I back up now, you'll see it looks something like this. So once again, that's 20 tall, five blocks wide, and that is the right pillar. 
What we're now going to do is link everything in the middle with the second tier of the uh, area, which is the signage area. And for this, we're going to be using basically green terracotta and lime terracotta. It's the two main blocks. So starting off, on top of the birch planks, we're going to place a layer of 31 green terracotta. So once again, it's just a solid layer of green terracotta. What we're also going to do is build up eight either side because it's nine tall in total. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And what you'll notice is it should be two blocks shorter than the smooth sandstone. We're going to build all the way across to the other side. Again, this is going to give us our 31 by nine rectangle. As you can see here, just building all the way until we hit the area here, build down seven and as you can see, links up and gives us our 31 by nine area. Now we're going to fill the middle area in using lime terracotta. However, we're not going to do it in line. We're actually going to indent it one block backwards. So what this means, place it in line, go behind, place one behind it, punch out the original. And as you can see, it's set back one block into the build. We're going to do this for the whole area. And the whole area, of course, is going to be 29 wide by seven blocks tall. So once again, again, it's going to be a bit tedious. Um, but it's just a case of filling it all in using lime terracotta. So again, if you're building this in survival, you're going to have a lot of fun harvesting cactuses and also, I believe, is it bone mill that you need? Or you could just, I guess, uh, harvest a ton of stained clay. I don't even know how it works anymore. It's been that long since I've played survival and put out of the loop with how the actual block recipes work these days. Last time I was playing, it was called stained clay. So again, it gives you a bit of an insight into how long it's been. So as you can see, again, it's just a case going left to right, left to right, left to right. It will give you a 29 wide by 7 tall area. As you can see here, I'm just on the final layer. And after we've done that, I'll back up once again, give you an opportunity to pause and catch up if you need to do so. So you can see it's just a slight gradient from the outer ring, but it's noticeable enough. In this whole area here, what we're going to be doing is placing the subway sign. But before we do that, we're going to get our green wall. We're going to come to the layer above the green terracotta and in line with the smooth sandstone. So the second from top layer, we're going to place a solid row of 31 green wall. As I said, this goes from the left smooth sandstone all the way over to the right side. And that's going to cap off the top of the sign and also cap off the front of the building. This will make sense once we add the canopy area in a second. But for now, this is what you should have. And again, if you want to pause, please do so. So. In regards to the next section, as I mentioned before, this is going to be the signage slash logo. So we're going to start off on the left side, come to the bottom left corner, go to the second block, second layer, and we're going to place a quartz stair facing towards the left side. To right of this, we're going to go one, two, three using quartz blocks, up one, two, to left twice, up twice, and to right twice. And as you can see, that gives you a nice looking S. To the right of this, we're going to leave a one block gap starting at the bottom in line with the bottom of the S. We're going to leave one block gap and then we're going to place three blocks of quartz. And on either side, we're going to build up one, two, three, four and one, two, three, four. As you can see, that's going to give us our U. Moving along for the next letter now, once again, starting at the bottom in line with the U, we're going to leave a one block gap and we're going to place three blocks of quartz. On the left side, we're going to build up one, two, three, four. We're then going to build to right twice, down one, down diagonal to left, down diagonal to right, and that gives us our B shape. So once again, just backing up so it's a bit clearer. In terms of the next section, of course, if you are familiar with the logo, the first half is in white, second half is in yellow. So for the second half, once again, starting at the same level, we're going to leave a one block gap and we're going to place five yellow concrete. On the first one, we're going to build up four. The third one, we're going to build up four. And also on the fifth one, we're going to build up again four. And that's going to be our W. What you can do if you want to make it a little less blocky is punch out the uh, ones underneath. So the first, third and fifth block. And again, it gives you a shape that looks like this. Personally, I don't really mind it being blocky because the whole signage in general, it's pretty blocky. For the next letter, of course, our A, we're going to leave once again a one block gap. Build up five using yellow concrete to the right twice and down four. And again, it gives you kind of like an N shape. In the middle here, we've got this one block gap. We're gonna leave that, the block below, we place a yellow concrete right in there. As you can see, that is now an A shape. The final letter, which is the Y with the little flick on the top right corner. We're gonna start off once again at the bottom, leave a two block gap this time, build up three. 
On the third block, we're going to go to the left one and to the right one. On both of them, we're going to build up twice, but on the right side, we're going to build one to right at the very end, again, just to give that little flick on the edge. Once you've done that, that is the logo complete. Again, I'm backing up, giving you a solid view of the whole build so far. If, again, you are struggling, please don't hesitate to pause the video, let me know in the comment section below, and I'll try and help as much as possible once again. I'm doing YouTube kind of full-time over the summer, so I'm going to have plenty of time to interact and reply to your guys' comments. So that is the first step. That is the basic part. You could leave it like this if you wanted to. But we're going to add some, I guess you could call them 3D effects. I'm so used to the whole statue thing, calling it 3D effects. I'm going to be adding some additional textures, some additional blocks. So starting off, we are going to come to the top layer of the birch planks. This is going to be like a little canopy that goes over. We're going to be using green wool. So in front of these birch planks here, we're going to place two rows of 31 green wool. So of course, it's 31 blocks wide. So it's a solid layer, essentially linking left side to right side with the smooth sandstone, but we're going to bring it forward a second layer as well. What we're then going to do is go down diagonal forwards. So as you can see, go down one, forwards one, punch out the block behind, and we're going to do a third layer or a third row of green. And then once we've done that, we're going to go down diagonal once more. So again, down diagonal, forwards, and we're going to do another layer. So essentially it's two rows, down diagonal, down diagonal. Each row is 31 wide in total, all out of green wool. And as you can see, if you look at it from the front perspective now, it looks something like this. Now the one issue is it does make under there quite dark. So of course this is where kind of lighting comes in. We're gonna grab ourselves some sea lanterns, either side of the door, we're just gonna place a sea lantern in the ground. And then we'll grab ourselves some of our jungle leaves. We'll just build up one, two, three either side. So again, it's not ideal. It does depend what platform you're on, because if you're on PC, it's going to be a lot lighter. For some reason on console, it just goes extremely dark. Another alternative is you could always just plant lights in the actual ceiling here. Uh, whilst it doesn't look great in terms of like if you're up close, if you're back far, you can't actually tell. So you can play around with it if you want to. And that is definitely one way of doing so. Now what we are going to do is on the edges we're going to fill it in. So what this means is on the layer at the back we're going to bring it down one two and then we're going to place one block on the edge right there. Same applies on the left side bring it down one two and forwards one just to bring in the edge there and just to cap it off we're going to grab ourselves our stone slab and we're going to place a ring of stone slab all away all, all along should I say the outline of this bottom layer so again, and all the way across, and then into the wall by building three in on the left side and the right side. Again, that's just an additional touch. You don't have to add that if you want, but I think it just really adds a bit of character, a bit of shape to the overall build. So as you can see, that is a little canopy we've added. The next step we're going to do is add a little ridge to the top of the build. So in front of this green wall here, on the lower half, we're going to place a solid row of 31 stone slabs. So essentially a solid layer in front of the green wall of stone slabs once again on the lower half. We will be adding slabs to the top of the smooth sandstone in a second, but to do that we have to build the sides, so we'll worry about that then. Once again, as you can see, this is now what it looks like, just through the small addition. The final thing we're going to do to the front side is we're going to grab a cobblestone wall. Come to the left side, to the smooth sandstone area. We're going to count up to the seventh block, so that's the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh. And on the seventh block, which should be in line, with the um, first layer, we're going to extend it out two using cobblestone wall and underneath that place a sea lantern. So again, it's just a little additional light, kind of adds to it and just makes it look a little less flat on the side. Exact same logic applies with this side. So we go to the middle block, count up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, should be in line with the bottom row of the green wall. We're going to extend it forwards two. And then on the second block, we're going to place a sea lantern. Once again, that's optional. If you don't like them and you just want to keep it plain, that's up to you. Um, but again, that's the front side of the build so far. This is, again, probably the best time to pause. And then we're going to start working on the sides. So in terms of the sides, we're going to start by working our way to the right side. So we're going to build sides, um, 3D effects, and then I'll go head around to the other side, replicate it, and then we're going to link everything up on the rear side. That's generally how we're going to do it. So, the way we're going to do this side is starting at the bricks, we're going to expand one, two, three, four to the right, 
and we're going to do this for all the blocks. So for the smooth sandstone, for 11 layers, we're going to extend it four blocks to the right. We're then going to extend the bricks on the next layer, four blocks to the right. And then the next, of course, seven layers all the way up to the top, again, all the way to the right, four blocks in total. And that gives us our 20 by five area, exact same as the front side. So this is going to be a square. Now, one thing we can do is if we expand this um, smooth sandstone, one, two, three, four to the side and link it up, that gives us a solid uh, square here. Fill in the middle with smooth sandstone. It does not matter at the moment that this side is exposed because that will be on the inside of the building. What we can then do is grab ourselves our brick slabs and we're going to do a solid ring around the outside. So we place one, bring it forwards, and we're going to do a ring around the outside of the smooth sandstone area. So that's going to be a seven by seven square. And then we're going to fill in the middle area. So as you can see, that's the ring around the outside. And then we fill in the middle area once again, just with a solid uh, layer of the brick slabs. So in total, you can see it gives you something that looks like this. Again, it's just to make the top of the pillar not look so flat. We're going to replicate that on the other side once we get round to it. But apart from that, we're going to continue with the right side. So that is the first step, which is the continuation of the pillar from the front side. What we're then going to do is come to the brick here, go in diagonal, and we're going to place a row of 20 birch planks. So that's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, and 20. So again, that's 20 birch planks. We're going to build up 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it's now nine blocks tall and we're going to build all the way back over to the left side to give us a 20 wide by nine tall rectangle link up like so. And as you can see, that is the bottom half of this side uh, in its basic shape. We're going to fill it in. So in terms of what we're actually going to do, we've got this nine tall area for the first four layers. It's going to be glass. So we're going to count one, two, three, four. And on the fifth block, we're going to build all the way across. Now, if you've done this correctly, there should be now a two block gap in between the top and this layer we've just placed. Go ahead and fill that in using birch planks. This is gonna kind of be the continuation of the canopy around this side. And in the bottom area, which I mentioned before, which is four blocks tall, we're gonna place our glass panes. So again, it's gonna be without, <laughs> without kind of edging on that joke a bit, it's gonna be a bit of a pain because they are really tricky to place in terms of they really don't want to go where you want to go. And as you can see here, the, the bottom one and the top one are fine. But once you get to this point, this is when everything can just go really wrong. So, so far, it's going pretty good. Um, but it's really easy for them just to place all over the place and just not listen. Yeah, that was pretty simple, but maybe I got lucky. So that is a 18 wide by four wide, uh, four tall area of glass panes, black stained glass ones to be more specific. That's the bottom half of the area complete. In terms of the top half, similar to what we did at the front side, we're gonna grab ourselves our green terracotta and lime terracotta. On top of the birch planks, we're gonna place a row of 20 green terracotta, and we're gonna double it up for a second layer like so. Now, just like the bottom area, it's gonna be nine blocks tall. So on the left side, we're gonna build up seven because we've already got two. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Once again, again, just like the front side should be a two block gap to the top. We're then gonna build all the way across and down to give us once again, another 20 by nine rectangle. Again, out of green terracotta. So that is our 29, 20 by nine area. Second layer is already filled in with green terracotta. And in this area here, we're gonna indent lime terracotta just like we did at the front side. So we place one lime terracotta Behind it, place another, punch it out, and then we're going to fill the whole area in using lime. So again, another tedious kind of job, just side to side in building. If you want to skip forward about a minute in the video, not even that, probably just a few seconds in the video, just to skip this, uh, I guess, boring, repetitive placing blocks over and over. But again, it's kind of what comes with the build. It's better to do this than be like lots of intricate corners everywhere, as great as that would look. It's going to be a real pain to build and a bigger pain to explain. So that is the area completed. What we're then going to do is grab ourselves our green wall 
And on top of this, on top of the green terracotta, on the front side, we brought it forwards a layer. On this side, we're just going to place it on top of. There's going to be a solid row of 20 green wool. If I back up now, you should now have something which looks like this. That is the basics of the left side complete. What we're now going to do, just like we did on the front side, is add the details. So starting off with our little like uh, canopy, we're going to come to the top layer of the birch planks. And we're going to place a row on top of the birch planks, solid 20 green wall. We're then going to bring it forwards a layer, go down diagonal. Again, another layer of green wool. And for our third layer, again, we're going to go down diagonal and bring a third layer of our green wool. So, just like before, at the sides, we're going to fill it in. So that just requires us to place two there, one there. Exact same on this side, we're going to place two there, one there. And we're also going to do a ring of stone slabs underneath it. Again, just like the front side. So we're keeping the theme consistent all the way around the building as you can see right there so that is the basic canopy complete we're then going to grab ourselves our brick slabs and in line with the second row of the green terracotta on the lower half of the block we're going to place a row of 20 brick slabs so again this is on the lower half of the second block so you should still be able to place a block in between the green wall and the slabs and again, that's just a solid layer of brick slabs. For the final step, we are going to grab ourselves our stone slabs. And on the bottom half of the green wall, once again, we're going to do a solid layer of 20 stone slabs from the left side all the way across to the right side. And if I back up, you can now see it looks something like this. Final thing we're going to do, and this is the very, very final thing for this side, we're going to come to the sandstone pillar area here. Again, count up to the seventh block. You can just look at the front side and match it. In the middle one here, the third block in the center, we're going to place two cobblestone walls, one sea lantern. And again, it's just following the theme of having little lamps on the side just to make it a bit more interesting. So that is essentially the left side of the uh, restaurant. And what we're going to do now is curve it round to the rear side and then we're going to head around to the other side, the left side, and repeat the exact same process. So as I said, let's head around to the corner here, and let's start bringing it around to the rear side of the build. So this in itself is kind of confusing. So again, I'm going to go pretty slow and give you guys opportunities to pause. So what we're going to start off by doing is going around to the rear side. So essentially, we're looking onto the front of the build. We're going to go one block to the right from this birch plank here, and we're going to build up eight blocks to give us a 9 by 2 area. From here, we're going to go diagonal forwards to this block, and then we're going to bring it forwards 1, 2, 3. We're then going to go diagonal forwards to the right, diagonal forwards to the right again, and then to the right 1, 2, 3. So as you can see, it gives you a shape that looks like this. Just to kind of cap it off and make it equal, we're going to bring it again diagonal forwards and forwards 1, and as you can see, it's the exact shape mirrored. So if we bring this up eight blocks in total, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's now a nine by two. That's a nine by two. And you can see it's the corner pattern in the middle. Now, in terms of what we're going to do, on the left side here, we're going to build up eight. So it comes up to the exact same height as the birch planks either side. And we're going to do the exact same on the right side. Then what we're going to do is in the middle three ones, we're going to build up six. So one, two, three four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, whoops, two, three, four, five, six. So it should be now two blocks shorter than the blocks at the side. We're going to expand it backwards by two blocks on either side to link up to the nine tall areas, and it gives you a shape like this. What we're then going to do is in this area here, we're going to kind of like make a gradient. Now this is kind of difficult to describe. What we're going to do is next to these two birch planks here, we're going to place two more birch planks and we do the exact same on this side. What we're then going to do is bring it diagonal. So we're going to start on the left side. We're going to go diagonal from this block, diagonal again, and diagonal once more. And as you can see, it gives you this kind of corner shape. On each one, we're going to bring it up one block. And in this two block gap here, so the one here, one here, we're going to place one and one. 
and it completely blocks it off and gives it this gradient shape. Again, it's difficult to explain, but hopefully just looking at it on video, you should be able to kind of figure out what I'm discussing here. So these ones are seven tall, the ones at the side are nine tall, and then we've got a four tall by two wide area, which is gonna be where the windows are. So we're gonna grab ourselves our black stained glass panes and we're gonna fill it in. So again, four tall for the windows, and then for the fifth block, we're just gonna place two birch planks. So this area is now two thick. Exact same applies on this side. So four by two for the windows. And for the final two blocks, we're gonna fill it in with birch planks. Now, the reason this is important that you have a gradient is we're gonna bring this corner round. Now, it doesn't work properly. If you don't have the gradient, it's gonna be chunking out the wall. Um, what we also need to figure out is the top section here, which again is kind of, kind of funky. So we're gonna grab ourselves our green terracotta. From this green terracotta here, we're essentially gonna go diagonal to the side seven times. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then we'll place a final one, so I guess eight. There you go. What you'll notice is the majority stay on top of the birch planks. However, the first block, and also the second to last, I guess you could say second block and second to last, don't have anything below it. Now, whilst it looks weird now, once we actually build the canopy that goes around the side, it's gonna be perfect. So in terms of this area here, what we're gonna do with the green terracotta is just build up eight blocks in total until it's the exact same height as the side here. So it's nine blocks in total, but building up eight from this original block. And as you can see, it will give you a solid diagonal shape, which we're gonna cap off just like we did on the other side with a layer of green wall. So it'll match up perfectly with the side we've just built. So if I back up, it should now look something like this. Again, that's the corner. In terms of what we're gonna do next, just like I mentioned, we're gonna add the canopy and the slabs. So starting off simple with the slabs, we're gonna grab ourselves our brick slabs and also our stone slabs. In line with the brick slabs on the other side, we're gonna place a slab in each corner, like so. And on the top row, in line with the stone slabs, once again, we're gonna place a stone slab in each corner and it gives you this kind of solid effect where it just continues around the build. Now, in terms of the more tricky bit, which is the actual area here itself, we're gonna continue. We're gonna start off next to this green wall that we left off on. We're gonna go diagonal, backwards, to side. We're then gonna bring it forwards one, to side, forwards one, to side, forwards, to side, forwards, to side, forwards what we're then going to do is go to the right twice and here we're going to bring it forwards one so again difficult to explain but essentially we have one block either side and then this middle part is literally just forward side forward side forward side kind of pattern if you back up again it should look something like this what we're going to do next is add the second layer so in terms of the second layer, we're gonna start on the block directly below this one. We're gonna bring it forwards one. We're then gonna go diagonal, forwards, diagonal, diagonal, whoops, diagonal, 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 and to the side one. So you can see this time, uh, we'll do it one diagonal again at the end, just to cap it off, whoops. So just like before, we have one green, we then have two, one, 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 two, one. So it's mirrored again. So you can see one, two, we have then four singles, two, one. And that is the second layer. Again, explanation might not be the best. Just pause the video and it should be pretty simple. So we repeat that pattern one more time. We're gonna come to the block directly below the second one right here. We're gonna bring it forwards one, diagonal, and forwards, so that's our two. So we've got one, two. We're then gonna go diagonal with ones five times. So that's one, two, three, four, five. On the sixth time, we're gonna go to the side one. We're gonna cap it off with a single one. And again, it follows the same pattern of one, two, five ones, two, one. So very similar pattern all the way around. Just like before, underneath each one on the outer edge, we are going to place 
a stone slab like that and what we can also do is fill in the areas up here which are uncovered so just go ahead and place a block if there is any areas like here in terms of this area here just punch out the blocks because we've now linked it up properly and as you can see it will now look something like this so again you can play around with it a bit if you want to make it 100 percent perfect but the premise is you just want it looking in this general direction so that is essentially the right side of the build now here's the thing the left side is the exact same just mirrored so if you want to build that on your own you are more than welcome to do so i am for the purpose of the video going to go over it just to make sure everyone is up to the right point but again if you want to skip that part just go forward about 10 minutes in the video and we'll be moving on to the rear side of the build but for the people that are sticking around let's head around to the right side now and start making some progress so oh sorry the, the right side the left side uh, you can tell it's late at night so we're around to the left side same logic applies from this brick here we're going to go one two three four to the left we're going to extend everything to the left that being the smooth sandstone and the bricks so that is 11 layers of smooth sandstone a layer of bricks and then seven layers of smooth sandstone just like before once we hit the top we're going to turn it into a five by five square the way we're going to do this is by expanding it one two three four over we're then going to expand it one two three backwards and then we're going to place a ring around the outside using brick slabs once we've done the ring around the outside we're going to fill in the middle solid using our stone slabs just fill in the layer below just so there's no lighting glitches using smooth sandstone and then the layer above again just fill in with brick slabs once you've done that that is the basic of the pillar on this side again exact same as the other side and then we're going to start on the lower tier of this section at the side starting on the lower tier we're going to grab ourselves our birch planks we're going to come in line with the brick here go in diagonal and place a row of 20 birch planks so that's two four six eight ten twelve 14, 16, 18, 20. Once again, build up 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And build all the way across to link up and give us a 20 wide by 9 tall rectangle. Now, once again, the first layer we've already done is going to be birch. We've then got four layers of black stained glass panes. And then the remaining three layers, which haven't been filled in, will be out of birch planks. So it goes one layer of birch, four layers of glass panes, and then also four layers of birch planks. So again, it's just a case of going side to side, placing the glass. Try and not get too frustrated with it. I appreciate it is a bit tricky sometimes, but it's been good to me today. Clearly, they've played around with it. Or I've just mastered the art of placing panes, I guess. So again, the remaining three layers with the additional one at the top is going to be birch planks. So we just fill that in solid with birch planks. And again, this is going to be where the main canopy is. So there's no point of adding detail. And once we've done this, as I said before, that's 20 wide, 9 tall. We're now going to build a 20 wide, 9 tall area of green terracotta on top of it. So same logic applies. First layer is 20 wide. We're then going to build up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 build all the way across and that will give us our 20 by 9 area once we hit the very end we are going to build down there we go that's our rectangle and then we grab ourselves our lime terracotta and we begin the grind again of filling in this whole area so it's just literally side to side in total there's going to be um sorry yeah we fill it in but in total it's going to be a six wide or six tall um, area, and it's gonna be 18 wide. So what we are gonna do, and something I nearly forgot to do, nearly, is add a second layer of green terracotta to the bottom. So the area at the bottom, that I've just filled in with lime, we're gonna cover up one layer of that with green, because of course we want the two layers of green at the bottom, and then the rest of the remaining area is gonna be lime. So as I mentioned before, we got the first layer done, we're gonna add a second layer of green terracotta, just covering up some of the building we just wasted and if I back up it should now look something like this just like the other side we're also going to place a layer of solid green wall just to cap it off and once you've done that that is the basics of the side complete and again I'll back up just so you can look at it 
Now in terms of detailing, we're going to do exact same. Starting off, we are going to place the easy things, which is the slabs. So we're going to come to the second layer of the green terracotta. On the lower half, place a solid layer of 20 brick slabs. In line with the green wall, we're going to place on the lower half again, a solid layer of 20 stone slabs. And that is the slabs, the nice and easy part out the way. The next step we're going to do is add our lamp. So come to the middle of the smooth sandstone area. Go to the third block in and count up to the seventh block. So that's third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh. Once again, you can just match it up with the side. Place two cobblestone walls and underneath the second block, a sea lantern. If I back up now, again, it should look something like this. Now for the fun step, the uh, more complicated step. In line with the top row of the birch planks, we're going to place 20 green wool. Just like we did before, we're going to go down diagonal forwards. Try not to make as much of a mess as I am. And then we're going to repeat that again. So we're going to go down diagonal forwards for a second time. And we're going to have three tiers of green wool. So that's the top tier, the second tier, and then the third tier, which is what I'm building for you guys right now. Once you hit the end, again, make sure to fill in the end with the three blocks. Don't really need to do it on this side, but I'll just do it for now. And just for demonstration purposes. And then go along the bottom of the outline using our stone slabs. Once you've done that, that is the left side. I was about to say right side again. It's normally because I go left then right, but I've done right then left just to change things up a bit. So that is the right side, left side. <laughs> oh, um, yeah, left side. You, you know what I'm talking about. When I say right, it's just because I've really confused myself with the whole doing right first rather than left. Just the way I prepared the tutorial. So that is the basic area. Heading around to the corner shape, we then have this tricky corner again. So starting off with this birch plank, we're going to go one to left. We're then going to go diagonal forwards and forwards one, two, three. From here, we're going to go diagonal forwards to left twice. On the second block, one, two, three to left. Then diagonal forwards and forwards one. Again, gives you this corner shape. In terms of the side blocks, we're going to build up eight for each one. So it's a nine by two area. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So nine by two on the left side, nine by two on the right side. In regards to the middle area, on the inner layer, the first one here, we're going to build up eight. Same on the right side, that's eight. And in regards to the three middle blocks, we're going to build up six because they're seven in total. The outer ones are nine in total. So on the middle ones, these three here, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, and six. There we go. So as you can see, should be two blocks shorter than the other sides. Once you've built that, go two blocks to the left on the left side, two blocks to the right on the right side, and it will link up to the taller blocks and give you a five by two gap. In regards to this area up here, we're going to bring it forwards one on the left side, forwards one on the right side, and then we're going to link up by going diagonal three times from each side, build up one on each pillar, and then in the two remaining gaps, place a birch plank in front of each birch plank there to give us this gradient look. For the little gaps on the side, they're five by two. You want to fill the first four layers using black stained glass panes. For the fifth layer, simply place two birch planks to cap it off. Repeat the exact same on the right side. And that is the basics of your window complete. And that's also uh, pretty much the side. We just need to go diagonal with the green, which again is very, very simple. So starting on the right side, we've got this green terracotta here. We're going to go diagonal to the side once twice, three times, four times, five, six, seven, eight, and then finally a ninth time. So again, you go diagonal all the way until you hit the very edge uh, right here. Sorry, eight times. We don't want one overhanging. So you finish on this block of birch planks right there. Once again, the second block and the second to last block are going to be floating. There's going to be nothing below them, but it makes sense once we build the canopy, it's not going to be floating for much longer. On each one, we're going to build up eight blocks in total. So each pillar is nine blocks tall. And then just like we did before, we're going to place a block of green wall on top of each one. So it fills it all in nicely. So let me do that. And then, as you can see, the green wall. And then we'll add the details. So I'll back up once again, just to give you a good view of what's going on. So that is the side in its basic form. In terms of the easy part, again, we're going to place a stone slab in front of each green wall on the lower half. Whoops. And 
in front of the second row of the green terracotta, we're also going to place a brick slab in each corner. Once that's out of the way, again onto the more interesting part, we're going to be building the green canopy. So starting on the right side, next to this um, green wall, so we go to the top one, go uh, diagonal to left, this block here, and we're going to place one, go to the left one, forwards twice, to left one, forwards to left, forwards to left, forwards to left, forwards to left, forwards uh, to left, and then we'll leave it there. So again, it looks like this. We'll add one on the end. So we have the one block on the end, one block on this end, and then of course the diagonal crisscross pattern in the middle. For the next layer, we're going to start off in the block underneath the green wall. We're going to bring it forwards. We're then going to go diagonal, forwards, diagonal, four times. So three, four. On, we're going to uh, go a fifth one, sorry, <laughs> can't count. And then we're going to go diagonal once more, but this time to the side and cap it off with a diagonal. So again, <laughs> I appreciate probably not the best explanation. But if I back up, you'll be able to see what it looks like just from this angle. For the final layer, we're going to come to the second row, block underneath this one right here. We're going to bring it forwards one. We're then going to go straight into a diagonal forwards. And then we're going to go diagonal five times. So that's once, twice, three times, four times, and the fifth and final one. On the next one, we're going to go one more. And then for the second one, to side one. To cap it off, we're going to go diagonal again, and that is the canopy. So exact same pattern as the other side, one, two, one, 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 two, one. Underneath each of the edge, we're going to place a stone slab. Let me grab the stone slab. And that is pretty much this side complete. Once again, if you want to punch out a few of these blocks just to even it up a bit and fill in the area up here using green so that there's not any gaps in the birch showing and yeah pretty much once you've done that that is the little canopy area complete or at least this side so if i back up once again looks like this if you want to pause you are more than welcome to do so and now we're going to head around to the rear side of the build and start linking everything up so if you head around to the rear side you should now have something that looks like this this part is very very easy we're going to start off on the left side. Next to this birch plank where we left off, we are going to build six blocks to the right. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. From here, we're going to go diagonal forwards and we're going to place a brick and we're going to build eight blocks to the right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we're going to go in diagonal and we're going to place another six birch planks. So one, two, three, four, five, six. As you can see, we're going to have three sections, birch, brick, birch. In terms of the birch side on the left, we're going to start off by placing uh, eight blocks of birch on top of the second layer. We're then going to place four rows of glass, and then we're going to cap it off with another layer of birch, which goes up nine blocks in total. Up here, link it all together using birch. The window itself is going to be a seven by four area, so seven rows of four black stained glass panes. So that's three, four, five, six, again a bit tricky, and seven, so that's our seven by four area. On top of this, we're going to place two rows of green terracotta to the exact same dimensions as the birch underneath it. What we're then going to do is on this left side here, we're going to go to the top of the green terracotta, and we're going to build over to the side, one, two, three, four, five, six blocks, like so. So it's in line with the green terracotta there. At this point, we're going to indent our lime terracotta using the exact same dimensions. So we're going to be placing one, two, three, four, five, six per layer. And we're going to do it all the way until we fill in this gap. Now you notice there'll be no cap here. And that's where the brick and smooth sandstone pillar is going to come into play. On top of the green terracotta, we're going to continue with the theme of our green wall. So we're going to place a row of green wall. And that is the basics of the left side. We're going to mirror this on the right side now. 
So, starting off like we did before, on the right side we're going to build up 8 next to the birch planks already there. We're then going to leave a 4 block gap and build up 8 again. Link in the middle and this will give us a 7x4 area. This is going to be our window. Let me fill in the window real quick. Once again, a bit of a tricky situation because once you do this and you place the wrong one, then it becomes an absolute nightmare to place the right block. But again, it, it's a bit it's a bit of patience you need when you're doing this. Nearly there. And that is our 7x4 window. Now, once again, on top of this, we're going to place two layers of green terracotta. So six blocks in total. Go up to the top of the right side on the green terracotta. Expand six blocks to the left. And then in this gap here, we're going to indent our lime terracotta. So six wide. And then I believe it's three, four, five, six tall. So it's essentially a six by six square of lime terracotta. Now, that will be the exact same on the left side as it is the right side. It's mirrored. If I back up, you should now have something that looks like this. We're going to add the layer of green wall on the top, just so it's the exact same. And again, it now is perfectly mirrored. Now, in this middle area, this is where the main pillar is going to be. Once again, it's following the smooth sandstone and brick pattern. So, on top of this brick here, we're going to build up 19 using smooth sandstone. An easy way to do this is it should be, I believe, one block taller than the green wall. So again, I'll just count up, double check. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So it is indeed one block taller than the green wall. That's an easy way of doing things. And then link up in the middle, like so. So that is the main outline of this pillar. What we're going to do is underneath the top layer, we're going to build down two layers of solid smooth sandstone. And in this area, we're going to add a little kind of uh, mascot logo. I don't, I don't want to call it a mascot logo, but it's not a text logo like we did on the front side. For this, we're going to grab ourselves our lime terracotta. We're going to start off on the fourth row down. We're going to place one uh, smooth sandstone, five lime terracotta, and one smooth sandstone. Now, we're not going to worry about the smooth sandstone. For the rest of it, we're just going to worry about the green. So underneath this, we're going to place one lime terracotta, one block of, or two blocks of quartz, and two blocks of lime. Underneath this, we're going to place one lime, two quartz, one yellow concrete, one lime. Underneath that, we're going to place two lime, two yellow, one lime. Underneath this, we're going to place five lime. And underneath that, for the final layer, we're going to place one lime, three green, and one lime. Now, the remaining area in this gap is going to be filled in with smooth sandstone. So the majority of this area is just that small little logo in the middle. Again, if you don't want to add the logo, because, of course, it is on the rear of the build, so you don't necessarily have to have the logo there. You could just make it out of plain smooth sandstone. But again, I think it just adds something, adds a bit of interest to the rear of the the uh, build. Now one thing I also want to point out is if you've been paying attention you'll notice this gap here. Feel free to just extend the smooth sandstone backwards a layer to fill that gap. It just gives it a sense of depth. Also come around to the other side and make sure that there's no gap on this side as well. So if you look at it from a corner angle it should now look something like this. What we're also going to do is go to the top and we're going to expand this sandstone towards the front side eight blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Same on this side, we're gonna expand it forwards eight blocks and link up and it's gonna give us a nine by nine square. Go ahead and fill this top area in using smooth sandstone. And just like we did at the front side, we're gonna add a layer of brick slabs on top of it, but we'll worry about that in a second. For now, we're just gonna worry about adding the details to the rear side of the build. So that is the rear side so far. Once again, if you wanna pause, feel free. In terms of the smaller details, once again, we're going to start with the slabs, get them out of the way. So we've got our brick slabs and our stone slabs. We're going to continue the brick slabs all the way over. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, until it hits the smooth sandstone. Exact same logic on this side. So six over until it hits the smooth sandstone. Same again for the stone slabs at the top. Just continue it over until it hits and intersects with the smooth sandstone. And that is the two slab areas complete. Nice and simple. 
In terms of the canopy, which is like the bane of my life and probably the bane of your life as well at this point, we're going to start in front of this birch plank here. We're going to place a row of green wool. We're then going to go down diagonal forwards and do a second layer of green wool, but we're going to end just a block before the smooth sandstone. And then we're going to bring it forwards again, diagonal, and again all the way over until we hit this point here. Underneath each block, place a stone slab. And you want to kind of leave this area empty, otherwise you're going to be exposing parts of, or you're covering parts of the window, should I say. So that's the left part. For the right part, exact same. So in front of the birch planks, we're going to place a row of green. In front of that, we're going to place another row of green. I've already kind of extended it one block over on this side, and then another row of green. Underneath each one, place a stone slab. And if I back up, again, should be mirrored. You want it consistently to be mirroring. So, one thing I have just noticed is uh, one of these is off. I'm trying to figure out which one. I think it'd be this one. So if we place one green there. Um, slightly confused. <laughs> so, yeah. So one of them blocks is off. Uh, I'll have a look at it in a second. As you can see, it's one on that side and two on that side. But I'll figure it out. In terms of the final thing we need to do for the actual canopy, we need to come to the top layer of the green, place another row of nine. We're then going to go down diagonal forwards and place a second layer and down diagonal forwards again and place a third layer. For the step again, we're going to place a row of stone slabs underneath. If I back up, again, should now link up perfectly and look like this. So. The next step we're going to do, as I said before, is add a ring to the smooth sandstone area here. So we're going to do a ring using stone slabs all the way around the area. And then we're going to do a solid layer uh, in the middle area. Once we've done that, it's then the mammoth task of filling in the roof. <laughs> now, the roof itself is made out of solid green wool. And it's going to take quite a lot of green wool and it's going to take quite a lot of time. So what I'm going to do is once I finish this is I'm going to cut the video. I'm going to go ahead and fill in the whole roof and then come back afterwards and show you what it looks like. But essentially it's just filling in the outline. Everywhere we have green wall, everywhere in between the outline is going to be green wall. So you can see here uh, we have the outline. Everything in this area is green wall. Everything not in that area isn't green wall. So it's pretty self-explanatory. As I'm rambling about that, as you can see, I've also built the uh, brick area. So that's an 11 by 11 square. So I'm going to pause the video here, I'm going to fill in this whole area, also figure out what went quite wrong there, and I'll be back in two seconds. Okie dokie, so I am back after lots of placing, and if I've flown up you can now see that the roof is indeed completely covered in green wall, as I mentioned before, you can see it is all within the outline of the green wall we placed around the edge. In reference to this part of the back as well that I mentioned earlier, I had noticed that I'd made a simple mistake before it was actually like this. And there was also a stone slab there. You want to punch out a block from each one, so it's just a solo, then two, if you did indeed follow that part of the tutorial. If you skipped ahead and just mirrored it, you won't have that issue. But again, that was a slight, tiny mess up by me. Um, but again, it is like 4am. So <laughs> I'm impressed that was the only thing I messed up in this build. Uh, also, one thing I want to mention is I went ahead and replaced all the floor inside the actual building with our polished andesite, put some, some temporary lighting. But yeah, with that said and done, that is the exterior of the subway complete. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of my arm, we're going to have a little cinematic fly around whilst I wrap up the video. As I mentioned earlier on, I am going to be doing an interior slash exterior video, hopefully in the very near future, once again on this channel. So stay tuned for that. In that video, of course, I'll go through how to add like the parking, how to add a pathway around the edge, also just a general layout inside the restaurant, so seats, the actual bar itself. And yeah, it's it's just it's gonna be an interesting video. I've already got it designed and ready to go. It's just a case of actually recording it. And of course, I'm not used to recording interiors, so I've got to figure out how I'm gonna explain things first. Hence the delay. But again, if you want that, please do let me know down in the comments below. Apart from that, if you did enjoy or find the video at all useful, then a like would be very much appreciated. Let me know down in the comment section below what you thought of the video, anything good, anything bad, and also what you want to see on the channel in the very near future. 
whether that's restaurants, brands you want to see. I'm not only doing restaurants, if you want to recommend like shops and stuff like that, then please do so. I would really want to get some suggestions in. And again, let me know if you actually like this restaurant series. I saw a lot of people requesting that I did something other than just statues and that I built a few more restaurants. So this is why I'm doing that. I've got a Taco Bell pre-designed ready to go and what I, uh, what is it called? <laughs> a Panda Express, that's the one. Just lost my train of thought there. So two lined up ready to go. Uh, I've got a bunch of other stuff like a cinema slash theatre and a leisure centre. So again, please do let me know what interests you. Apart from that, if you're into this content and you want to stick around, definitely consider subscribing to the channel. Hit the notification bell if you actually want to be told when I upload. And if you're really passionate about it, then just follow me on Twitter at Gamer Games because Twitter is better than YouTube for actually telling you when I upload. Apart from that, thank you very much for watching. Until next time, my name has been Tom Gomi and goodbye. Eyes in the sky. Gazing far into the night I raise my hand to the fire But it's no use Cause you can't stop it from shining through It's true